Oh, hit my knee on the thing and the doors. Okay, does the uh, it's broken. So the the seat is the is where it is. You uh, this part is, but you can adjust the back. Okay, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, I, I realized that yesterday. I was like, fuck. I think, mm -hmm. I think you're a little taller than me. But that's nice that they put it up here, and you don't have to search for it. <clears throat> yeah, it is uh, pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, they were all powered from uh, from the factory. That is a smushy brake. That little button right there is to turn the overdrive off. You don't need that unless you're hot riding it on the highway. Right. I wish it wasn't raining because every time the car shifts from like first to second, the tires yeah. would screech <laughs> because it still has a shift kit in it. Ah. And it's also called a J mod by certain people, but you'll feel it. That is a very res either that is a very responsive throttle. <laughs> is cool. it a mechanical throttle? It is a drive-by cable. So it's like, yeah, it's going to do what you want it to do, like an old school car. Okay. Already this is way more jumpy than a police interceptor. I mean, yeah, that had a taller rear end, 35. Do you know what the final gearing is? Or factory, they were 355. This one's a 410. Oh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> okay. Yep. So what RPM are you turning on the highway? Well, we'll find out. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, you're smiling. <laughs> Oh, there it spun. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, oh, don't crash this. It's a fun daily, let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> let me up my... It only, it it, yeah, it, it does, the high speed does not work. Mm. But uh, it'll, it'll do this, but it won't do this. Okay. I don't know why. I guess it's the wiper motor too dirty or something. Oh, boy. You'll be fine. I haven't needed it in two years. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't drift, don't drift, don't drift. Just drive normally. <laughs> uh, there's second. Where's third? Well, it'll, it'll third. hit around a little bit past 45. Third? That, that, that felt like third. Yeah. <laughs> and then fourth, it's overdrive will come in. My Falcon, of course, that's an AOD that comes in around 55. Oh, this thing's starting to... Maybe it's fine in these rivets in the road. I don't know. I wonder if Ford originally thought that they were going to sell these cars to just enthusiasts that were going to buy and hold them, or did they expect them to be driven? I Honestly, I don't know. There's less than the, less of these were made than, than RSs. I mean, there were tons of uh, right. Focus RS is made. We thought that was just going to be like this limited thing and for the U.S., but it wasn't. The average customer earned eighty thousand dollars a year. Uh, this is like their target market, mm -hmm. and usually owned like uh, a business or well, essentially earned eighty thousand dollars a year. Mm -hmm. um, and to me, the car was too late to even compete against the Impala. That's the only one that compares the '96 Impala. Okay. To this that. But these then roll off the factory until 2002, and that car was on production in like what, 96 or something. Right. So it's like, why are you competing against a market that I guess Chevy tried to create that didn't right. exist? And in the end, if you want to trace it back to rare black cars, I think it all started with the Grand National, personally. I mean, there could be something before that that yeah. I'm not aware of. Were um, Marauders only available in black? At first, yes. Okay. But then there were. Um, they were available in silver uh -huh. and blue in 2003 model year. They made uh -huh. 327 total in blue. Uh -huh. And then I think um, a little bit over 900 in uh, a maroon red, also called DTR, dark okay. teal red, in the 2004 model year. Okay. So most were black. Yes. And in the brochure, I'll show you later. When you open up the back, it says color combos. There's only like a black square. Like, <laughs> that, that, that's it. But the rarest one, if you want to like color match and everything, is actually a black one with a uh, with a uh, white interior, and they made 125 ah. of those. And okay. like the top, this is like white instead of black. It actually, looks pretty nice to me. It does. White leather? Um, not the leather, but like up here. Oh, okay. And oh, this is like a darker charcoal charcoal color. So okay. So. Alright. Yeah. Um, Should have made a left turn there and drove through Port Clinton. That would have been appropriate. Yeah, we can do it on
on the way back. Of course, now we got a Jersey barrier and we're just stuck here. <laughs> Go for it. All right, drop down the first. <laughs> yeah, dude, if you want to drop down the first and do that, go for it. That, uh, that, that was good enough. That exhaust, if it was that expressive inside the car, definitely people heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was dry. You would have a little bit more fun with this. Yeah. It seems like you're having fun now. Yeah. Okay, gentle through this. We're in the rain. Gentle through this, and you have truck tires on the rear of this. Yeah, I not <laughs> not Michelin Super Sports. I wish it was drier because you could uh, you could feel actually it does handle decent for what it is. Yeah. if that statement makes any sense. Oh. It's staying in that gear. Am I yep. in drive? There? Oh, there. Yeah, yeah, shifted. you're good. Yeah, it's tuned. Okay. For a 4.6 modular, even with double cams, well, that's the rear end that we're turning 2,000 RPM at 60 with a V8, or yep. we should be at least like 1,005 or if that. Yeah. Sorry, we got to talking and I forgot to turn it back on. Thank you so much, Dominic, for letting me drive your Marauder. You're welcome. Uh, this thing is a beast. <laughs>